بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the month of ramadan when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the, the month of ramadan in the holy quran it says ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun o you who believe fasting has been prescribed for you like it was prescribed for the people before you so that la'allakum tattaqun not probably la'allah here is not translated as probably it will be translated as uh, so that so that you become pious so that you become muttaqi la'allakum tattaqun why does the fasting result in piety because all of the ibadat the the prayers the hajj the homes zakat all of those are an action they are to perform something they are to do something while fasting is not to do something fasting is to stop you from things for example that you must stop yourself from sinning or you must stop you well the holy month of ramadan when you're fasting you stop yourself you hold yourself back from eating drinking lying and all of those things 10 things you know so there are two things uh, the fasting consists of the intention niyat and imsak and abstention intention and abstention you make an intention that you're fasting for the sake of god and then you abstain that's all fasting is it's not doing something like prayer is to recite to go to sajda do ruku hajj is to do tawaf ihram you know so many things uh, but fasting is not to perform but to stop so it leads to piety atul bahjat sheikh muhammad taqi bahjat was asked he was asked uh, uh, what is taqwa he said taqwa is not to do something taqwa is to to abstain to stop doing things to stop doing haram that is taqwa so you become muttaqi once you stop sinning and that results in uh, in uh, in uh, piety and fasting uh, teaches you how to stop when it teaches you how to stop from halal then it automatically gives you the strength to stop yourself from haram and as a result of stopping yourself from haram leads to becoming pious there are many dimensions to taqwa the first is to stop yourself from haram even to leave out your obligations is haram so basically in one sentence stopping from haram results in taqwa in piety uh, or becoming god conscious taqwa the best translation in english is to be god conscious to believe and see that there is someone watching over you and not do sins um and that is true taqwa so um there are the verses in the holy quran and also traditions that uh, when the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked uh, ya rasulullah uh, how do we uh, what is the best deed in the month of ramadan he said not to sin to not sin is the best deed in the month of ramadan so yes you are fasting you are praying you are reading quran you are giving sadaqa you are giving iftar you know you are feeding other mu'minin you are feeding poor people but the best deed in the month of ramadan is to control your sinning especially the sins of your tongue because the tongue is not being used for eating food and tasting um uh, delicious things so it should also learn to to do delicious things in terms of duas and recitation of the quran and also uh, the and the taste of dua and the deliciousness of uh, the holy quran will only come once you learn to control your tongue and by controlling your tongue you will truly become uh, in the way of becoming pious and muttaqi thank you for listening Whoa.